Bhagavad Gita, text 2.59 One embodied may fast from feeding the senses, turning away from their objects, but a taste for those objects remains. However, one who does the same in the course of experiencing a higher taste, derived from seeing God, loses the very taste for sense objects as well. Thus, he remains fixed. Here, Krishna advocates the pramana, or valid evidence of experience above all other forms of evidence. Feeling rules our life. This is both our misfortune and good fortune. When this feeling or taste takes one in the direction of animality, one's spiritual life is spoiled. One should be guided by evidence from scripture away from the bestial life of sense indulgence. While scripture sheds light on reality, applying oneself in accordance with its dictates affords one experience. One drop of such experience is more confirming than an ocean of scriptural mandates. At the same time, spiritual experience conforms with that which is described in the scripture. Limited through scriptural language is in terms of describing it. Indeed, it is said that spiritual feeling, bhava or rasa, in the school of Raja Bhakti, takes one beyond the reach of scripture. Footnote 13. See Srimad Bhagavatam 10.47.61. The word param in this verse indicates the supreme. One who develops a taste, drishtva, for the supreme, param, is able to forego the taste for sense indulgence. Vishwanath Chakravarti comments that here Krishna is saying that the experience of the self alone is not sufficient to retire the taste for material life. Direct experience of God is required. As for the power of the senses, Krishna next advises Arjuna not to underestimate them.